Well hi there guys and welcome to another video. So today guys you join us on a trip to Las Vegas. Are you going to Las Vegas? I am going to Las Vegas. I too am going to Las Vegas. You might think it was rather recent that one or other or both of us went to Las Vegas and it is. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't go again, does it? No, it doesn't. It's going to be a multi-part trip. Uh, after Las Vegas, where are we off to? Vancouver. That's right, and after Vancouver, where are we off to? Vancouver Island. And after that? Seattle and Bellingham. Mmm, Bellingham. And then Seattle. And then Seattle. It's very exciting. And then we'll come home. And then we will come home. Well, rather than keep the camera rolling while we're sat here at the gate. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the BS155 flight from London Heathrow to Las Vegas. The cabin crew are on board and they're conducting their final safety and security checks. And we hope to start boarding in the next 5 to 10 minutes. For now, please take a seat. If you'd like to go and use the airport facilities, get a coffee or use a bathroom, you're more than welcome to do so. As I say, boarding will not start for the next five to ten minutes. Thank you. Now it's time to use all the facilities at the airport. Uh, well, let's get to it. <laughs> well, we have indeed boarded a plane. I just hope that it is not too badly delayed. It is currently being refueled, so we are hopeful. Isn't that nice? I heard you uh, found a product involving corgi bones. That thing sells corgi bones. It's brand of corgi, that's so strange. It is very strange. Anyway, it's a time, a.m. or p.m. We're in the U.S. now, so we can't use 24-hour clocks. And we are waiting for an Uber. And there's a lot of traffic. Why is there a lot of traffic? It's busy because of the rodeo, apparently. We've just arrived. We've just eaten dinner at Denny's. And now we are playing some quick hit bits, as is our way. Let's do some. We are in the bonus game, we very quickly got a bonus game. We're on the second stage of the bonus game and we're going for ten. We've just got three, so we've got seven to get. Uh, we're probably going to get knocked out at this jackpot, which is a shame. It's only $28, but we'll see. Right, we need to get four to stay in the game. I don't know, what do you think? Are we going to get knocked out already at $28? One, two, Three. No. Damn it. Knocked out. Twenty-eight dollar jackpot. What a joke. Well, not terrible, but let's see how we get on. Brilliant. Mate, I heard they built a new walkway. Two. We're in it, I believe. We are right outside it. Yeah, so this is the walkway that goes from the Vidara, where we are staying, right the way through to well, a junction, and you can turn right to go to Cosmopolitan and straight on to go to Bellagio. Yeah. It's there. Nice. Nice. You can even see the bit of the walkway out here, going from the Cosmopolitan to the junction that leads to the Vidara and the Bellagio, right above the Clark County Fire Station, for all your fire extinguishing needs. And the lift. An absolutely classic Excalibur buffet experience, and fully comped as well, so not to pay anything for it. Uh, I'm taking my second hit, my first hit, 
was a bit of biscuit gravy, uh, a bit of brisket mac and cheese. My second hit is a bit of traditional scrambled egg, bacon and pork sausage. Loving it. Don't know what my third hit will be. Uh, drinking the traditional Mountain Dew. Everyone loves a sugar hit with their beverage in the morning. Very nice indeed. Well, back to it. You can find us working on our strategy. We've had one bit of poor strategy, a few bits of mid strategy. Oh, a few bits of good strategy. Do you one more good strategy? No, it's. Second time we've taken some bonus spins. The first time we had bonus spins, what was our winning? Alright, it was something like $80 or something the first time we did it. And uh, that was a very poor strategy. The strategy is far superior. No, we're not winning very much so far. I'm wondering why you chose not to win too much money. So that I might win another time. That's fair. That's fair. You don't want to do everybody out, do you? No, of course not. You don't do everybody out. Oh, hi, Beard. Hi, Beard. When's it awkward, mate? When you make it awkward. It's only awkward when you make it awkward. Hi, mate. Hi. I believe we've come to somewhere playing music. There's a piano man. An actual man with actual piano. Suck at YouTube content ID. Oh yes. Oh he stops. Well done man. Well done. It's very transport psychic. I feel like I'm playing open TTD right now. It's good. Hi mate. Uh, hi mate. I hear you played some Quick Hit Blitz. I am drunk. Alright, did you win at Quick Hit Blitz? No. Because you're drunk? Possibly. Did you fall off a chair? Maybe. Because you're drunk? Maybe. I better not put that in the video then. Whoops. Whoops. Sometimes you're in a Walmart just walking down the aisles and you see an area called Mother's Room. Mother's Room. I don't know what's going to be in that aisle. Maybe Big D's mum? No, hi mate. Hi mate. Weirdly I'm getting a sense of deja vu like I was here three months ago buying tortillas. Yeah, probably. That makes sense. For you? With Vok? Yes, with Vok. Hi Vok. Hi mate. Hi mate. It, it seems like only three months ago I was last here picking up crystal meth. For both of us. Crystal light. Yes, that too. And great value. Yes. And other brands such as Snapple and Skittles and such. Such. Three months, etc, etc, coffee, etc. Have you been enjoying the coffee that I bought you last time? I have very much. And you buy more? Yes, I am. One thing I haven't drawn any attention to is the fact that we've come out before 7 in the morning to hit this Walmart. Yeah. It's better at this time in the morning. It is better. Good. Well, this concludes our trip to Walmart. I can't help but think I was here about three months ago. <laughs> I think you were. Let's uh, hope that our driver is his Tesla Model Y. What was his name? I don't know. No. Anyway, let's hope he arrives shortly and whisks us back to our hotel. Whiskey. Whiskey. Down. We did just get a piggy banking bonus round, but 
I actually forgot to get the camera out. So we almost, almost walked away with uh, like $230. Um, but sadly, the lump was not in play and we left with 90 something. Um, we're doing good, we're still up on the deal. Um, yeah. I feel very much like we need to do better, try it harder. Yes, we tried hard, we filled it out. Full size piggy, big piggy. Time for some serious piggy banking. Come on, the large one. 500, 500, 500, 500. Not bad. Three hundred twelve dollars and fifty cents. We did better. We worked hard. We we worked as a team. Yeah. We filled up those holes. We got our pigs in a row, as the old saying goes. We banked. We banked. We were truly piggy banking, banking with the best of them. Now these pigs, unlike the pigs who work in the construction industry, who are perpetually thwarted by wolves. These pigs simply explode and give you their interiors as rewards. And there's something quite disgusting about that, and I like it. I was playing some Huff and more Puff, and thinking to myself, what is going on there? What is going on? These builders building straw houses and wood houses and stone mansions, and when they get built, a wolf blows them down. And are they displeased about that? Do they just get paid for rebuilding them? So they're like happy that the wolf is just creating an endless stream of work for them? And the wolf, why, why is the wolf doing it? Is the wolf paid by someone to create a work stream for the builders? And they're all pigs too. I mean, are they paid by the government? Is this, this you know, social housing? Um, who, who are we? Why are we getting paid for every house that the wolf blows down? Um, are, are we the government of Swinistan and we are bankrolling the builds and then getting paid for them being knocked down? Is there some corruption thing going on in the building industry? Um, it's all very unclear to me, but it is a puff and more puff. And it is what it is. We shouldn't ask questions. I have noted here a notice. Water shut off notice. Dear Hector, welcome to Vidara Hotel and Spa. We hope you're enjoying your stay with us. We find it necessary to make some improvements to our water system. This will require the water in your guest room to be shut off or experience a loss of pressure Monday, 12-18-23, through Wednesday, 12-20-23, from 12am to 5am. Please feel free to contact the front desk if you need any assistance during this time. We appreciate your understanding and apologize for the disruption while we conduct these enhancements well I didn't try to use the shower before 5 a.m. but when I did use the shower after 5 a.m. I did note that well the water pressure seemed fine uh, but there was a distinct lack of hot water it was a little chilly shall we say perhaps their hot water production capacity is a little reduced perhaps the maintenance didn't go well unfortunate Lobby floor. Lobby floor. Well, here we are. I believe we are at Seagulls. Saddells. And we are here for breakfast. I have taken a omelette. The baker's omelette. What have you taken? Breakfast sandwich. Breakfast sandwich. It's good though. I like it. Operator, I'm having trouble dialing a number. What's the number, please? 212 555 4240. Nice reference. Oh, hi, mate. Hi, mate. How has her luck been so far? It's been shit. Yeah, uh, our expected losses have been much higher than they should have been. Yes. 
But now we're playing a bonus game on Cricket Blitz. So let's see if we can make it all back. We're going to fail. First tier, three spins, five blitz. There's none of miss X. Well, here we go. Four. Okay, we're ahead of par. That's excellent. There we go, we've hit it. We've hit the first jackpot. $13.56. So that's good. So we're into the second tier. Jackpot upgrade. Very dark punk. Right, $13.56 is a bit of weak sauce though. It is a bit weak sauce. So though. now we need 10 blitz to upgrade. Three spins. But the reels have increased to be five deep rather than four. One blitz, two blitz, three blitz. We are behind par. We really need three and a third. We've only got three. But it's okay. It's okay. There's everything to play for. By the way, we've just had dinner at Retro by Voltaggio. It is so 80s and 90s, I cannot even, as the kids say. Right, there's one, two, three, four, five blitz, which is good. That's above three and a third. So we've only got two left to get to beat the next tier. One, 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 two, three. Okay, we, we, we've done it. Jackpot upgrade. Right, we've now got a jackpot. 3202. We're playing for 65. 15 blitz to upgrade. Here we go. How confident are you? I'm confident. My wife is confident. Five. We are on par. We need 15 and we've got three spins. That's good. We're on par. Second one. Done. One, three, four, five. Oh my god, we are on par. We cannot afford to come in under par now. One, two, three. We need two on the last reel. Four. Yes. Right, we are up there. Jackpot of $65.69. Jackpot upgrade. Right, okay. We're playing for $125. Three spins to get 20 blimps. But the reels are big. The reels are large. Wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We are so ahead of par. We are doing well. Here we go. Six more to get. Two spins to do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We are on a winner. Right, we're now up to the jackpot of $125.22. Jackpot upgrade. Right, next one is $260. We very, very rarely manage this tier. Let's hit it. Oh, nice. Did you see that slide on the button? Very impressive. My wife has the skills. Um, right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, we're actually ahead of par. That's not bad. So, 17 left to get, so we need 8.5 on each spin. 1, oh my god, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. Holy shit. We've managed to get it. We are now on two hundred and sixty dollars and eighty-six cents jackpot. There's no way. There's no way. Forty blitz. This is when it gets challenging. But we're now playing for six hundred and forty-six dollars jackpot. One, two. Shit. Shit. Three. Right. We've got three out of forty. So we've got thirty-seven to get on two spins. That could be challenging. Two. Oh dear. Oh dear. Three, four, right. We did both, my friend. We still have to go 33 on the uh, on this spin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I mean, that last reel was really impressive, but we didn't get it. So, anyway, that's not too shabby. A jackpot of two hundred and sixty dollars and eighty-six cents. I'm not gonna not gonna complain about that. What was that, like our third spin or something? Third spin, that's not bad. So we put in so far $9 and won. What was the final total? $275.66 off $9 bet so far. 
That's a far better outcome than what we've been achieving today. Good choice. My wife chose to win. I'm pleased with that. Sponsors would be pleased with that. Are you pleased with that? I'm pleased. The advertisers would be pleased with that? Um, we don't have any advertisers or sponsors. Hi mate. Hi mate. What can you tell me about Big D? The doors are now closing. Please stand clear. That's not really what I was thinking. I was thinking more well, Big D is a dick. The tram is now departing. Please hold on to a handrail. Big D is a dick. Uninterrupted. Flawless. We are at Harry Reid Airport, Las Vegas. We are waiting for a WestJet flight. Where are we going? We're going to Vancouver. We're going to Vancouver. And we have some sort of high class of ticket, don't we? Premium. Premium, whatever that means. WestJet. Like a highly pressurized stream of Guinness, for example. <laughs> Did you enjoy your time in Las Vegas? I did very much, yes. What was your favourite item? I liked winning $300. Good. What were you playing at the time? Did you bank it? Oh yeah, I remember that. That was a good win. Good win, everyone. I enjoyed my Popeyes. Popeyes. And Daddy's. Best friend. Oh! Friend! <laughs> another hotel room. Uh, this is a room on the 8th floor of, what's the hotel called? Uh, the Executive Plaza Hotel in Conference Center, Coquitlam. Excellent. But it's not in Coquitlam, is it? Where is it? It's in Port Moody. It's in Port Moody. Anyway, it's the Coquitlam That Thing Hotel. I mean, it's got a bathroom with a mirror, as you'd expect, and apparently a tub. And I've not really had a look, much of a look. I've been here for moments, hence why the floor is covered in luggage. Um, and it has a bed, um, which I can't come on because I've not slept in it. And it has a wife, which I can't comment on because I get in trouble. And a television, which I did turn on briefly, and it works. Um, not bad, it's got a big corner view thing going on, um, which, is, which is nice. Um, and then it's got this chunky boy LG heater stroke cooler stroke whatever with this chunky boy cable. I mean, what the hell is that for? 20 amps or something? Of course, North America, ridiculous low voltages. So I suppose, yes, probably is. And anyway, best thing, this doorway ah, uh, goes out to a balcony. And the balcony has... A table and some chairs and views of a neighbourhood um, which has a whole bunch of Korean stuff. So if you like Korean stuff, yay! And then Metro Vancouver over there, um, that's where they keep it. So yeah, that's this hotel um, and I think it will be adequate for the one night that I am staying here. Do you think it will be adequate? I think it will be adequate. Okay. It's decided. Well, here we are outside the Black Rabbit Tattoo Studio, uh, where my wife currently is, having a bit of work done. Uh, she has been in there for, uh, what is it, five hours now, I think, uh, and is in the last hour or so of the work. So hopefully we'll get to uh, have a look at that in due course and see how that 
panned out. Uh, yet another source of pain for us, uh, brought by our lovely beagles. Do you like whales? Do you like bears? Do you like hot springs? Well, I have just the thing for you. Cans and bottles. Mixed recycling. Compost. Garbage. Or... Not sure. Tell me, mate, can you think of a good reason to eat out? To help out? Eat out to help out. Hi, Dory. Oh, hi, mate. Hey. I noticed that we're still in Canada. We are still in Canada. But we're not in Port Moody anymore. No, we are on Vancouver Island. We are on Vancouver Island. Where specifically? Uh, well, I mean, it's like somewhere in Victoria. the vicinity of Victoria, isn't yeah. it? I saw lots of other signs for things like View Royal and things like that, yeah. but I don't really know quite where we are. But anyway, you know we're in Canada because... Trees? Trees, exactly. Lots of trees behind us. Thus, Canada. It's quite simple, really. How are you feeling after your uh, the work you had done at the, at the Black Sheep? My proud it. It was good. Good? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it hurt a lot. But How many hours? Like, about six hours of tattooing. Six hours of tattooing. It's a good, uh, good bit of black goat. Yeah. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Tell me, mate, when you think of a battery-based product, what do you think of? Battery Daddy? Battery Daddy! The one, the only, Battery Daddy. It's a name you know. It's a name you trust. All your favourites. Henry, Reese's, Hershey's, 18 full-size bars. Bars standards, as you would say. I've got bad news for you, mate. Hmm. Yeah, certified women. They got owned. All of your favourites. Kit Kat, Coffee Crisp, Aero, Smarties, 18 full-size bars. Bars format ordinaire, as you would say. Do you think that people would like to know some of the uh, Kirkland signature products available? I think so. Okay, well let's run through them then. So. Kirkland Signature. We have cookies, pastries, pies, cakes, Canada, ah, beef, poultry, seafood, pork, other things hidden behind a pillar that I can't see. Kirkland Signature. Quality at its highest. Well, you find us in our award-winning kitchen. Uh, we have some of our award-winning kitchen staff here, our uh, chefs, um, and we will be demonstrating a very innovative product today. Um, we just used a similar product for some biscuits, and uh, tell our audience what we're going to do now. So this is uh, canned cinnamon, uh, cinnamon rolls? Canned cinnamon rolls by yep. Pillsbury. <laughs> Yes, so I will be opening these and demonstrating the innovation. It is innovation. It is innovation. So step one. Peel the it. Peel the peel, peel it. Peel it. Peel it. I noticed the uh, dual language English French. Oh, yeah. That must mean we're in Canada. So, this is the magic. This is the magic. Here we go. Oh, that is magic. It is magic. It also comes with like a little pot of um, icing, so I'm trying to make sure you don't pour that out. So, yeah. so we whack the container on the side, it pops open, and we get a series of pre-made cinnamon rolls. Yes. My goodness, that Pillsbury Doughboy is a clever chap. <laughs> And so you simply take these out and place them in a tray and cook them. 
Yeah, basically. Uh, much, much easier than making actual cinnamon rolls. I'm real ignorant. I imagine the process of making actual cinnamon rolls is a little more time consuming and difficult. It is, you have to make dough. Which I assume you are very accomplished at. I can do, but this is convenient. Who doesn't love a bit of convenience? And there you have it. So that's a tin of cinnamon rolls and previously opened a tray of biscuits. Yes. Well, thank you very much for demonstrating these innovative techniques. You are very welcome. Bulk food only available at Wilkinson. And so, after Costco and Christmas, sponsored by Pillsbury and Whole Foods, um, we forgot to record any video for a while, didn't we? We did, yes. Uh, and then Boxing Day came around, you would say Christmas Day number two, and we have one photograph to show for that day, I believe. We do have one photograph, yes. Cue the photograph. There's the photograph. So, I think we got up at about half past five in the morning. We did, yes. We took a ferry to Vancouver. We did, from Victoria to Vancouver. And then we did a border crossing by the Peace Arch. Very exciting. My first ever um, land border crossing between Canada and the US. And we drove to this venue, I believe. We did, uh, in Bellingham. And we picked up someone on the way. Could you tell me, who, who, who do we see in this photograph? This is uh, my grandmother. It was her birthday, her 91st birthday. Uh, my mother and stepfather on the left, and of course us on the right. Excellent. And this facility, Oyster Bar in Bellingham, which I believe was an oyster bar, sold oysters. You are correct. And I think your grandmother specifically wanted to go there to sample in the oysters. I think she did want oysters, yes. And she enjoyed her oysters? I think she did, yes. Excellent. What did you have? I had um, fish and chips. And what did I have? A burger. <laughs> I believe it was the only thing on the menu that I found vaguely palatable. I think but it was. it was a good burger. And it had chilli jam, whatever that is, but I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, so that was good. And out the back of Oyster Bar, we can see a view of a precipice. Yes. With some trees and a body of water. It's very pretty. Where they cultivate and harvest the oysters, I believe. Oh, we also got to see your, your grandmother's new residence. We did, yes, with her two cats that dislike each other. They do dislike each other. And your parents' dog was left with the cats and seemed fairly easy going and able to get on with them. Yeah, it's an easy going dog. Yes. So that was a good day all in all. It was a good day, yeah. Uh, and then I believe we headed on and were dropped off at Fairview Railway Station. This is possible. Something like that, which yeah. is the railway station in Bellingham for Amtrak. Yes, it is. Um, and then I think we have some footage from that point on. I do believe. Well, let's get down to it. Oh, hi, mate. Hey, mate. Amtrak. Track in. We are currently in a waiting room. Is it called a waiting room? Uh, 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 station lobby. A station lobby. Um, waiting uh, for an Amtrak Cascades service from Bellingham to Seattle. Yes. We're getting on a train. In the USA. That kind of train. You check bags for this train. We've checked three bags for the train. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's not what we used to. Are you looking forward to this train experience? I am. Excellent. Amtrak. Yeah. Good to know. Well, we took the Amtrak, and now we're in Seattle. We are in Seattle. Oh, I have to say that Seattle Station is a little bit more opulent and elegant than Bellingham was. It seems old. There's also sort of like marbly type columns and such. Yeah, mosaics and... Mosaic. Carvings and such. And carvings and such. Not a statue, sorry. Oh, we should go find our baggage. And this is a room at the Mario. It's like most Mario's is, 
Uh, but it's called the Mario Waterfront because it has windows and beyond those windows is a front of water and you can see some Seattle out there and it's raining actually um, and there's boats and big boats and there's a street down there where there are cars um, and people that's the Mario oh hi mate I see it's our hotel over there, the Mario, the Mario waterfront. Yeah. I also noticed that we haven't availed ourselves of the Mario's pool. We've not. The Mario's pool appears to be half outside, half inside. That's innovation. Would you agree? Innovation. But I don't think we use the pool Probably. because it's the end of December. Yeah, it's cold. And it's cold and it's raining. A little bit. A little bit. Just dive in. Pike Place Market. Never will you find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Weirdly, I don't think many of the people coming here are actually here to buy anything. I think they're coming here to say they have been here. Though, of course, nowadays that may simply be manifested as taking a picture for Instagram to get likes to, to show that you have been here. Um, which is fine, I suppose. I've been places just to just to have been there, though it's usually to marvel at the splendour of their awesomeness and grandeur, um, or to bask in their glorious history, I suppose equally as pointless. Uh, but this place is busy as bone, and people are not good at crowd shit. They really do love that Christopher Pike bellow in Seattle, don't they? Uh, yeah, it seems like they do. So much they named a place after him. A place, yes. So, um, yeah, that was our trip away. That was a long video. Yeah, it was, and we're making it longer. We are making it longer, and Cello is imposing herself on you. And I think I mentioned while I was parked outside the uh, black Triceratops tattoo, um, that that they had caused some pain to you. Yes. Um, and I believe that pain is evidenced down here. Yes, absolutely. Perhaps you could tell our viewers what they're seeing there. So, um, if, if you don't know this, Bria and Cello are named after um, bard songs from EverQuest 2. Uh, and so, they are wearing the class hats from, uh, for, for the Troubadour and for the Dirge. So, yeah, very nerdy. Where do those class hats come from? Uh, from the Hulo. Uh, Hilo in yeah. the barren sky. Yes, yes, indeed. I do recall doing those quests, though I did them at level, whereas I... Did you probably do them afterwards? Yeah, I didn't play during uh, Kingdom of Sky, so... No. Well, I did them at level, and they were not, not easy. The Warden one, I played a Warden, uh, was a, a wolf's head. Yes, it was. I think they changed it at some point, though, did they? Oh, controversy, because, you know, a druid would not be wearing a dead wolf on their head, would they? They uh, created an alternative appearance to the hat, which was a, a circlet of leaves, which was not as baller, as you would say. No, I would say that. You would say that. Uh, so, anyway, um, yes, excellent <coughs> tattoo. Very good work by Birdman there. Yes, I'm very pleased with it. Birdie did a very good job. Indeed. Good. Well, um, other things happened while we were away. We were in Las Vegas. Yes, we did go to Las Vegas. Um, what was what was your favourite meal while we were in Las Vegas? Uh, I think Retro by Voltaggio was very good. It had a very cool vibe. The 80s, 90s thing. You got a bag of candy with like a ring pop in it at the end. It was it was quite cool. Yes, this is a payphone. Don't ask. Yes, so there was that. Um, we didn't have very good luck though, did we? No, we didn't. We spent some money. Yes, we threw it against the wall. The shiny feedback key wall. The yep. shiny, juicy, noisy wall. Yes. Yes. Um, and yeah, that was that was Las Vegas really. A lot of poor luck and meals and bad plumbing. 
Um, State of Dara was interesting, was it not? It was an unusual venue for us. Yeah, I don't think I would choose to stay there again. I like the, the glitziness of staying in a place with a casino, but now we know. And we didn't just get comped up the way o at check-in either, which no, was a little bit different. Yeah, it was a little bit different. But, uh, and then, of course, we, we, did, we did spend Christmas at your parents. We went to uh, Victoria and spent Christmas up there, yeah. Yes, and we saw Dory in the video. We just about saw a little bit of Frida in the background while you were whacking the Pillsbury Doughboy off on the side. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed, we saw a little bit of Frida. It is. Um, Christmas dinner was good, but no Christmas crackers. No, no paper crowns. No paper crowns, D. Uh, yeah, and then um, then we had that photo with the uh, that oyster bar. Yeah. Yep. And then we we didn't really make much more video after that. No, we kind of forgot. We kind of forgot, and now we're here, and it's almost February. Yeah. Um. So that's that. Yes. Um. Well, I think that's probably about all we've got time for today. It's amazing that you stayed this far through the video. Well done. I'm very impressed. Um, do we want our viewers to comment on anything in particular today? Uh, uh, Something involving <laughs> the Voltaggio family, perhaps. Perhaps. Do you know who the Voltaggio brothers are, even? And have you eaten at any of their facilities before? There you go. There we go. There's the comment topic. As usual, everybody will completely ignore the comment topic. Um, and I'm sure there's lots else to say. Yes. But for now, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found the video interesting and informative. Very little more for us to say. Have we got any more videos coming up soon? I guess room we should tour. publish the room tour for the Vidar yeah. at some point. Yes, that's not a bad idea. Um, but yes, other than that, I guess there'll be some sort of trip somewhere this year that we'll recall. Yeah. Um, but for now, uh, a little more to say. Uh, uh, goodbye. <laughs>